I'll I'll go into the full history uh, while I'm playing it, but this is Chotetsu Brickinger, aka Ironclad, which was at the time only officially released on the uh, the Neo Geo CD. Circumstances changed that later. Brought to us once again by Soros. Released on... Okay, so there were two games released on September 20th. We'll see the other one next time. It was a, uh, a toss-up as to whether to do that game or this game. And I thought it was funnier to keep the... Uh, the Source games together. It's it's on a CD, but it's actually 178 megabits. Don't ask how I know that. This game was originally supposed to get a uh, an MVS release. It was shown off at uh, at trade shows. I think it might have gotten location tested, and then they just kind of sort of canceled that release and went straight to the Neo CD. They, they figured, well, let's, let's have an exclusive game on the Neo CD, because those, those other ones have worked out really well. The only one other thing I want to mention, there's a, uh, there's a flyer here, which I think was advertising the, uh, the arcade release. But these, uh, these pictures are from, like, a uh, a prototype version. Like, if you look closely at the life bars... Hold on, this is getting way too big. The life bars are, like... They're bars. You can see it in this picture. You see how, like, it's it's green and red there? That's not in the final game. The final game uses, like, little... Uh, uh, little blocks of health. So apparently that's a uh, that's a pre-release version of the game. I thought it was interesting anyway. So we are going to play the CD version. I have played the other version before, but and it makes sense to go straight to the CD version, right? Oops. Ironclad. Yoko loses. I gotta load this one. Dan Adam KOF, thank you for the twenty-one months. Okay, start it up. Generic loading screen. Good. this up. Ah! That was really crunchy. Oh, maybe I should, uh... I should reset my audio to make sure it doesn't start crackling on me. There we go. Why is that audio so crackly? It sounded really bad. Is that audio delay? Da, 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 da. Man, I've heard the cartridge version so much. It'd be nice to hear the CD tunes again. Wow. I was able to load the stage up right away. That's good. So yeah, colliding with enemies does not result in damage. So this game's like, at least a little fair about that.
Also, it only it only has one high score. Not a list of scores, just 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 one high score. But yeah, it's it's cool that it like gives you these hints. But the hints are only in the the demo. <laughs> For some reason they're not on the the how to play screen. And it does save your score at all that. Well, it does on cartridge on the MVS. I don't know if it does on CD. Oh, this is my jam. Range version of this is so good. Well, it gets good later. This is a little slow part. No, 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 no. Don't let your friend get destroyed. All right, I think we're good to go. Start button. Kaching. Level select. Uh, we play an MV. We'll keep it on normal. Boong. So we got three of these ugly ships. I think I used the default, right? Probably not gonna once you see this. Like, what the what the fuck am I looking at? It's more of those awful awful pre-rendered graphics. Heartbeat dot wave. And this game does have branching paths, like uh, the Darius series. God, this... <laughs> Baptism of Fire! So this game uses a, a weird perspective. Like, it's not quite isometric, it's just, it's a traditional, traditional horizontal shmup. Okay, we want, uh, what? There's a left arm and a right arm for weapons. The right arm is your charge attack. I end up using, uh, the Wrecking Ball for most of the game. If you hit stuff with the Wrecking Ball, it gives you more points. Oops! I hit the wrong button! Hold on. Hold on, I gotta remap my buttons. That's my B button. C button is for is for blowing up my friend. So I lost the charge attack. Just B button to launch it out, B button to bring it back in, like R type. Oh well, that's okay. It's the enemy commander already. I'm already at the end of the game. Oh, fuck. That's what I get for losing my... my thing. Oh, it was a Doom bot. Keep on with your puny efforts. Okay, there's life right there. We're good. You only have one life, but, you know, you get, uh, you can take, like, four hits before dying. There's actually, uh, you can actually increase your max health through, uh, a certain technique, I guess. Which is killing enemies with charge attacks. Eventually one will drop a, uh, a max health increase. That's a good point. The pre-rendered graphics is a, it's a better fit for this game, because it's not... They're not trying to use it on people. Like, uh... Uh... What is all? Oh god. Come on. Get the kill! Oh, I'm not doing shit for damage. Because I lost my, uh, my missiles.
Get his ass. There we go. When you kill, like, bosses and sub-bosses with, uh... Actually, when you kill anything with a charge attack, it drops metals. So that's, like, the key to score in this game. Need to get a left arm. Toot toot. It's a little blondie, sure. Yep, gotta discard him. I don't know if it matters if I blow these things up with uh, the charge shot. I'll have to go for the points. There we go, finally I can get the, get the weapon. I feel like homing missiles were like pretty much the way to go for the for most of the game. Power max. Drop the power up. There we go. Destroy! Oh fuck, I don't remember which route I was going. Was it, uh... I think it was 2A, right? I went like 2A... 2A, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6C. I think. I already forgot my route. Yes, this. Wait, no, it's not this stage. Fuck. Alright, uh. Or was it? All right, I guess I'm trying new stages. I already forgot my route. Oh well. <laughs> I did like no prep for this stream, man. Phone it in again. I should pretend I I know what I'm doing in this game. I guess you have to get, like, three power-ups for, like, a, a full power-up. A full shot power-up. I hope I still get to hear the hot jam on this, on the next stage. I thought it was I thought it was a stage. I don't recognize this at all. That's a cool crab. It's literally called crab. All right, I don't know this pattern at all. It's throwing shit at me. I mean, even if I take a hit, you know, there are chances to recover. Also, you get one hit point back every time you clear a stage, so this game has plenty of life ups, at least. Damn, this is a tight one. That's what she said. No one can win the three of us. the stage boss, is it? Oh god. Oh god. If I don't get to, get to hear my jam, I'm gonna be very mad. I know it plays on the other stage.
gonna say, they don't share health bars. Back here. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. You just gonna escape? His health bar disappeared. Run! You're being chased by a crab. Cool moon. Oh, this track. This is kind of a banger, too. This is the same boss as the other route, actually. I gotta kill this guy with a charge attack. Vector Man vibes? I mean, kinda. Kinda has. Ah, has that look. How did I not get hit there? Good too, what the fuck? Ow! I need that power up! Oh, it disappeared. There we go. Okay, I'll get my health back. Damn, that means I skipped my my favorite jam. Yeah, it was it was 2B, 3B. Oh, I don't remember what's after that though. It's definitely 3B next. But yeah, there's multiple rounds, there's multiple endings. track later. I have the arranged version, so <laughs> I can listen to it. Alright, so let's let's go into the history of this game. A brief history. <laughs> so they were showing screenshots of this game in like Neo Geo Freak and maybe Gamus in like 95. Like they were they were hyping it up a little bit. Said it was coming soon. Didn't come out in '95. In '96, like they showed it at uh, they showed it at a couple arcade shows. Uh, one person on the Neo Geo forums, who I'm not going to mention by name, he's kind of a douchebag, um, mentioned that he he played it at the show. I don't have any reason to disbelieve him. At the uh, like a show in Florida or something like that. And it was, you know, they were they were showing the arcade version, so it was playable on MBS Cap, so it was expected this game was gonna come out on, on cartridge on, on MBS. But then it kinda didn't. It kinda never got released. A lot of things happened in '96. There were other other more worthy games, I guess, like KOF '96. I guess. And so. Instead, they decided to, to push this for Neo CD. The Neo CD was kind of struggling. Figured they needed some more, some more original games, I guess. So they decided to to make it a Neo CD only game, and it only came out in in Japan. Like it didn't get a an English release on, on CD. So that was it. Like some people, some people bought it when it came out. 
If they did, they're sitting on a... <laughs> if, they, if they have the CD version, they're sitting on a, a pretty expensive game, because they... Even though it was CD exclusive, they kind of didn't produce enough copies of it. And that was that. Enter, like, the, uh... The early 2000s. Where people, uh... People claim to have, uh... Have prototypes. Claim to, like, specifically have, uh... Have a bunch of Neo Geo prototypes, including a cartridge version of this. And I felt like this came up, like, multiple times. Not just that, uh, that Zakro guy, but some other people that would post pictures of this game, like, supposedly running on an, on an MBS cabinet. Nobody ever dumped it. Nobody ever... Nobody ever proved they actually had the, uh... a cartridge version of this. Just kind of became another another song and dance, became another running gag. People would... Seemed like every every couple years somebody would claim they had a had a copy of this, but nobody could prove it. And then the craziest fucking thing happened in I think it was November of 2009. The Nintendo Wii had this thing called the Virtual Console, where you could uh, you could download games from uh, from other systems, usually for like the you know, the NES and the Super Nintendo, and then they started getting, like... Started getting Sega Genesis games and TurboGrafx-16 games. SNK signed on for... to bring Neo Geo games to the Virtual Console. And so they brought some of the early games first. And then in, like, November 2009, they announced... We're bringing out Ironclad! We're bringing out Chotetsu Brickinger for the... for the Neo CD. And that immediately, like, raised some eyebrows in the Neo Geo forum, like... Wait, everything else they've released on the, uh on the CD so far has been, like, an MBS game. This is a, uh... Also, I just realized I went the wrong route, didn't I? Ironclad was a Neo CD exclusive. They're not gonna, like, actually release the Neo CD version, because, like, the Wii didn't have much, like, storage space. And who knows, like, how much space the... the CD version would have taken up. They wouldn't, like, have actually, like, gone into the archives and dumped the MVS version themselves. Well, guess what? That's exactly what they did. Hold on, I need to focus on this boss for a second. Fuck. I went the wrong route! Whatever. That's the wrong weapon. I go the, the entirely wrong route. Four B has to be the right route, right? So yeah, they released a uh, they they dumped the cartridge version, or like SNK had it in their SNK Playmore had it in their archives. and released the cartridge version onto the Virtual Console, nobody... Nobody had ever, like, made it... made it publicly available. But they had it, and were like, fuck it, we'll just release it. And then people... people were able to, like, extract the ROM data. Make it... make it playable in MAME. Is the audio fucking up again? What the fuck is going on with OBS?
The mic is muted. I I hit the wrong uh, the wrong audio thing, huh? Ah, oh, the stream is a fucking uh, shit show. I fucking fucking hate audio shit. Ah, man. This has been the most unprofessional stream I've done in a while. No, this isn't my jam. It cut off earlier. I didn't get to hear my song for very long. This track's okay, but it's not the, uh, the other track. What I was trying to say, I don't know how much of that got cut off, but, uh... <laughs> I don't, I don't fucking... Whatever. The fact that the, uh, SNK released their ROMs to this game themselves, it made me wish they could have, uh, they could have, like, released their ROMs to, uh, some other games like Last Odyssey. But, uh, I'll probably never get to play that because Neo Geo prototype hoarders have, have brain damage. I really don't get why the audio would just start, like, crackling. Especially when I don't even hear it on my end. Like, how am I supposed to know? Also, I did this boss completely wrong. Jesus, I'm playing like garbage. Oh my god, come on. I did once you see this, I swear. Fucking hell, I've forgotten this pattern entirely. Drop the health extension yet. Maybe it's on a another stage. Okay, so here's the weird thing. You see like uh 4C and 5C have like that that solid that solid block behind them without any anything going past that. You can actually end the game on stage four or stage five if you're going for like a a short one CC, I guess. But the endings you get are, are not very good. We should do a six stage route. Now that I've used continuous, I might as well fight like one of the other bosses too. Luckily I'm pretty sure the Neo CD version does have like infinite continuous. Wait, did I get two hit points back from the other stage? That's a setting in the arcade version. You can you can adjust like how many how much hit points you get back after every stage. It's, it's supposed to default to one. But I guess the CD version just has it as two. They made it easier.
Oh yeah, the other thing about, like, this game's, like, fucked up release schedule. Or, like, how, you know, the, the MBS version was... Was not, uh, was not released for the longest time. I thought that meant, like, the, uh... Because, uh, when the MBS version was dumped, like, we finally got the, the original versions of the music, because, like, the music is different compared to, compared to this version. Apparently, like, I'm wrong. Like, it was... This game got, like, a soundtrack release with the original soundtrack, despite the fact, like, it wasn't released. But they released... They apparently released a soundtrack CD for it. And that's just really bizarre. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's just a full heal. But I guess the, the soundtrack itself is... is really rare, so... Just like the game itself. If you paid, like, 7,000 yen or whatever for this game when it was... when it was released... Oh, boy. I remember people in the Neo Geo forums were complaining when this game was, like... was selling used for, like, $400. Now it's over a thousand dollars. Retro game collecting is stupid. things come from? I thought they just magically appeared on the ship. Oh! You can do that, huh? I see. I see how it is. I missed it. Kill this boss with a charge attack. I'm pretty sure this one will drop the uh, the max health extension. Oh, too close. My bad. remember my route. I think it was 6C. I remember the boss of 6B is a fucking nightmare. Let's do it. I was never able to, like, come up with strats for this. Or, like, I didn't try because I was looking at all the end bosses and, like, yeah, 6C is the way to go. Might as well look at this. Final episode, Destiny. Of course, I don't remember what the 6A boss is like now. I bet I can't go that way. Fuck! That's a good start. Am 
Am I at? Nope. Get ahead. I think I'm at max power, right? I think that's max. Yeah, when your main shot power up, powers up, it gives you like the the lightning shot when your little buddy is discharged. I'm pretty sure you get the bad endings if you uh, if you try to like end your end your route at stage four or stage five. I don't remember if any of the endings are bad if you do all six stages. Here's replay value. You can you can check the different routes. See what the endings are like. Like, I guess I kind of understand them pushing this for Neo CD, like... As a shmup, this doesn't really, like... It doesn't really feel like traditional, like, arcade shmups. It just... Cause it's kind of... It has some weird pacing. It's kind of a weird game. Has to load before the boss. I wasn't ready for that. Just fly through the building. Ah, uh, the stage one callback. Are you ready? Fire. Right now, God, no, I don't. That is fast. Oh, maybe if I kill him with a charge attack, he'll drop uh, the health refill. Woo, rocket punch. A lot of drills. Health up! Give me that shit. Okay. Kill him with the charge hit. Oh, I didn't drop anything. Majesty will now honor you with his presence. Destroy. Whoa. Yo, this is just like that. That missile that's launching in second squad, huh? They laid out the red carpet for me. Time to get my shit pushed in. <laughs> this is totally second squad, the guy sitting in the chair. Totally reuse shit. And then he goes back into the thing. This is Second Squad all over again. You'll, you'll see this all again when Second Squad shows up. That's like a couple years away. Oh, look at that health bar. A 
Okay, I don't remember any of these patterns. That's a good start. Yeah, maybe I could have just gotten in his face. Yeah, I think you're supposed to move forward there. Ship advances a level for every three power-ups gained. Each time you go up a level, your life meter is restored. I can't get that power-up. Yeah, I'm maxed. Do the fucking green lasers! This is... This is second squad. I gotta be ready for that attack and just move forward, huh? I've done, like, no damage to it. That attack is so fucked up. I'm never ready for it. Ah, I should've seen that one coming. Some E items boost the maximum life level. Oh, I got punched. No, I didn't. What the hell? Oh, he's invincible during all this. I can't I can't damage it yet. He's got a shield. Also, his life bar refilled. So that's cool. You can only hit it in the head. Big ass sprite, but you can only hit the head. Curvy lasers! Well, at least that part's like free damage. Oh. Yeah, just do it again. A lethal shot attack is especially effective at short range. You can see why I didn't want to do this boss for, for 1cc purposes, right? This is a little bit ridiculous compared to the rest of the game. I feel like my DPS is less when the, uh, the laser's equipped. Another shield. Oh, and you can't move forward through that one. Punch. Get his ass. Oh, I got punched. Oh, God. The green lasers. Oh, I kind of get it. Oh, my God. That's fast. Sick. Does that actually work? Did I figure out the pattern? Absolutely never! That's right. So I never got, like, the second health extension. Like, if I go the other route, you can actually get a second health extension for... for a max HP of six. And I was killing, like, as much stuff as possible with the charge attack. There goes their headquarters! Ogre's destruction has triggered a chain reaction of explosions in the nearby power core. That was nowhere near a 1cc, though. No.
I don't know that route at all. That was a think. I have one CC'd it though. Different route. Man, that ending sucks. Generic ass ending. think about Ironclad Chotetsu Brickinger. It's a weird game. Like, it's it's kind of fun. There is some satisfaction to be had with the, uh, the charge attacks. Making them drop metals and all that shit. You got different routes. You got some sick tunes. Um... But I think the release history is more fascinating than the game itself. Like, uh, it's not bad. I think the scoring system's alright. If you kill stuff with charge attacks, they drop medals, and medals give you more points. I think the scoring system's fine. I don't think it really has any problems there. But as far as shmups on the Neo Geo go, hmm. I don't know if I would even put this above Z-Blade. Okay, I'm waiting for the waiting for the most important part of the credits. Here it comes. Not that. John Ironclad, presented by Source Company Limited. Wait for it. Wait for it. Translated by Bob Timbella. Thank you, Bob Timbella. What am I even looking at? That dude is tiny. I'm sure they thought that that picture was was good. Yes, Luffy. <laughs> Where's the game over me? Oh, there it goes. But I don't think it even, like, saves the high score in CD, does it? Most games don't. It didn't ask for a, uh... for save data. Uh, how do I... How do I reset again? There we go. Yeah, only one score and it doesn't even save. It only saves the stage you reach. Alright, and like I said, we're, I'm not going to play all the way through it, but it is on, uh, it is in MAME as the actual cartridge version. Although here's the thing, you have to run this game in either US or Japanese mode, and you know, it'll, it'll look like this. It'll look fine. If you run it in Euro, in the, the default on the Euro BIOS. This is what happens. The screen is really dim. And I'm not sure why.
For some reason, the picture is dimmed on uh, on the European BIOS. I don't get it. If you want to play it in English, be sure to play it on the U.S. BIOS. It just looks really weird. I don't see why they would exclude Europe. But this is... This is like the only game on the Neo Geo that I can think of where they... Like... Change the, the brightness. And there's life recover, one block, two blocks, all blocks. Nothing. But yeah, I don't think they did that for any other... Uh... Man. All my button mappings are getting fucked up. Oh, whatever. Thank you, Soros. All right, where's my, uh... No, not this one. Where is it? Now I can't find it. Da, da, da. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I don't have audio going out again. Hmm. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, uh, that. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. No, I skipped it. Very unprofessional stream tonight. Alright, so. We do gotta rank this. So, where, what are we looking at here? Last Resort's at 17, Zed Blade's at 20. 25 seems kind of generous. Like, I do feel like... Oh, here's the question should, we should be asking. Is this above or below Viewpoint? Viewpoint, a very contentious game. Than viewpoint. <laughs> See what I mean? Some people fucking fucking hate viewpoint. Others want it in the top ten. <laughs> it's it's like the most contentious game. You either love it or you hate it. I mean, Polestar kind of... Polestar kind of got it rough. Sorry, Beldandy. Polestar is not life. I feel like... Hmm, I don't feel like it should be above Arrow Fighters 2, for sure. Arrow Fighters 2 is, uh... It's pretty good.
I don't know. I, I didn't expect there to be, like, too much support for this. But I guess I'm wrong. Uh... Thirty-five, thirty-eight. That feels a little low. Worse than like Cyberlip. The problem with this cut of the music is that it, it gets to this part and just keeps repeating it. Hmm. Thirty-three? Maybe. Definitely I'm leaning more towards the uh the upper thirties here. For sure. Yeah, I think 33 might be a good spot for it. What say, y'all? <laughs> Spin Master over it? I mean, that's fair, too. Spin Master's alright. Let's go with 33. Show Tetsu Brickinger. I need that link. I like Spinmaster. There's just not much, not much meat on the bones. Like it's, it's, it's fun to fuck around with, but it's a pretty easy one CC, and scoring strats are <laughs> don't, don't play that game for score. All right, so what do we play tonight? KOF 96, 20 second place. Not, uh, I think uh, a lot of people are gonna be disappointed about that. Brickinger, pretty good, number 33. And then all the way down here. Oof. <laughs> the Ragnagar Defense Force did not, uh... Oh, there, were, there were a couple people sticking up for it. And then Pleasure Goal, nobody gives a fuck about Pleasure Goal. Nobody's gonna defend that. <laughs> We're at 90 games ranked. There's like another... How many do we have left? Like 50? 56? Something like that. But yeah, we definitely... Definitely went a little over on time. I always try to... always try to keep the ranking parts to four hours, but... There was... there was no chance tonight. All right, the only other, like, uh, uh, the only other bonus thing I wanted to, to, wanted to look at, and I know, I know very little about this, 